r slash ask reddit asks what do you wish was more socially acceptable asking questions or just admitting that you don't know i've sat in a ton of classrooms where people are just afraid of looking dumb which i can understand but still on the other hand i've met quite a few people who felt like they knew everything but knew very little about the topic at all it's funny how bad people try to fake it sometimes there's that thing about people who aren't very smart overestimating how smart they are and smart people underestimating themselves. Not drinking. I shouldn't have to see these posts on the pregnancy subreddits that say stuff like, how can I hide not wanting a drink at Christmas New Year's birthdays? By not drinking, just tell them no. Why is it so weird? I think it's strange that you can't just not want to drink, however in the case of the pregnancy it is fairly self-explanatory why you would want to hide it. A woman you know, who you are aware drinks, who usually likes to have a few drinks on a special occasion, or is generally a drinker, not in the alcoholic sense, but in the social sense is suddenly very adamant about not drinking having never exhibited any problems with alcohol for women within a certain age range who do drink. This is a potentially obvious giveaway that they're pregnant, and it's completely understandable that they would want to avoid any suspicion on the off chance that it affects the privacy of something extremely personal that aren't ready to share. Not wearing bras. True. Also, not wearing makeup. I actually don't use makeup at work now, but it took me a few years before I dared doing it. It just felt wrong. I felt like such a slob, although I wore nice, clean clothes, combed my hair, etc. Not wearing bras is next level. Wearing capes. I know it's a reference to the Incredibles but I truly believe if these dudes wore capes on a regular basis they would come to realize how impractical they are. They get caught in things, drag through shit, even if they aren't that long. Open grieving. People should be able to be sad, talk about their loved ones, process shit, without people feeling weird and uncomfortable around them and making them more uncomfortable. I don't look at a whole lot of the Victorian era and think, wow, they had it great, but I wish we'd kept more of their ideas about mourning. There was a certain amount of time where you could just grieve in peace if you could afford to, anyway, and people wouldn't get weird about it. No one expected you to just move on, just get over it. They understood the loss. That seemed so nice. Men being platonically affectionate towards their friends. You don't kiss the homies goodnight. Doing nothing. Why do we always have to be in the middle of a to-do list? Can't we all just be content with nothing occasionally? Mental health. I'm a freshman at a very good college, come from a well-off family, you could say that everything in my life is set. When I told my parents that I could have mental health issues, my dad, old school guy, couldn't believe that a person with such a set and perfect life could have mental issues and got mad at me which made me feel like I haven't appreciated what they've done for me. TLDR, people really don't know the weight of it if they have never experienced it themselves. Not wanting having kids. This is one of the biggest ones for me. Although most people will probably nod and smile and say, that's cool, a good number of people still still say something along the lines of, you'll change your mind, or, you just haven't found the right person yet. Maybe I will change my mind, I won't deny that, but I'm about 99.9% .9 sure I'll die without procreating and that should be perfectly acceptable without judgment either way, it doesn't matter to me. I've made it very clear that I do not want children and no one's really given me too much flack for it. I feel very sorry for the people who have to deal with the societal stigma more often and more heavily, though. Talking about salary. I don't get why it's so controversial. Like, oh no you make more than me. How dare you. It's awkward everywhere because of the implications of an equal financial standing between friends, like other commenters are saying. 
But most people I knew before moving to North America agreed secrecy about your wages only benefits your bosses, and being open about them helps people who are being underpaid know they deserve more. I volunteered my wages and asked my co-workers theirs after less than a year. I know they talked some shit about me for it, about my lack of social grace generally and my boss had to talk with me about it, although he couldn't legally ask me not to do it. But the guy who was teaching me how to do my job hadn't gotten a raise in two years and was on a lower salary than I got hired on. Next month they start rolling out pay raises for all the old staff that had stagnated in wages and were overdue. I've no regrets, fuck politeness. Not literally all the time I support polite and nice interactions, just not when are being exploited. Adults interacting completely innocently with asterisk asterisk kids asterisk asterisk https colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash watch question v equals y s r z c s k dash b8 I suspect this is more a North American thing. I'm a 31-year-old guy and work at a local grocery store and people don't find it weird when I interact with their kids. Quite the opposite actually, some parents have told me they think it's nice that I interact with their kids because they think it's fun. People with hair loss not covering it up I've struggled with hair loss a lot and I sometimes just wish I could go to school without my wig and nobody would question it. Dude, just shave the lot off and go bald lol. Nobody will give a fuck if you just rock that skinhead look with a gaff attitude. Learned that years back when I started to go thin up top in my mid-twenties. I'm just entering my late thirties and honestly it's no big deal, I've actually kinda grown to like the look. Getting rejected by your crush. When someone in my school gets rejected the whole school will know in two days tops. And they laughed at them. It sucks.